Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So this is our first video for today. We plan on doing at least three videos today. In the next video coming up, a 17-year-old youngster was killed in the parish of St. Elizabeth. You're going to want to hear more about that story. Now, when we start today's journey, remember, we are still on our way to Petro Plains in the parish of St. Elizabeth. Continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. So, yesterday, I told you about an incident that took place at Little London. Well, the hoodlums, they stole the NCB ATM at Little London. And they were cornered by the police at Landailo in the parish of Westmoreland. A shootout ensued with the police and the hoodlums and one of them was shot and killed by the police. Listen to this now. The PNL detectives, they are on the job. Now, I gave you a preliminary report yesterday and I promised to update the story today. Yesterday, I told you that that hoodlum on your screen. He was the person who was shot and killed by the police. His name is Dave Anthony Mackenzie. I told you that in July of this year, Dave, he would be celebrating his 52nd birthday. I also told you that he is from the parish of St. Mary. Now, if you check all media houses who carried this news, you're going to hear them saying the same thing, that Dave Mackenzie is from the parish of St. Mary. The reason for that is that when he was killed, his driver's license was found in his pants pocket and we are told that that's the address on his driver's license. Hibiscus Avenue, Highgate in the parish of St. Mary. Truth be told. Truth be told. Dave Mackenzie, he's not from the parish of St. Mary. In fact, Dave Anthony Mackenzie, he is popularly known as Prof. And Prof is from Green Island in the parish of Anova. We are learning that Prof, he has been involved in crime from he was very young. We are told that he was sent to prison before he was 20 years old. His crime that he was sent to prison for at that time was that he had broken into Mandela Green and he had stolen the vault with cash. Mandela Green was an entertainment spot at Green Island in the parish of Hanover. I'm not sure if they are still operating. We are also learning that Prof. Imava Finan. Do you know what is meant by a Finan? Yeah man, one of his hands is disabled. We are told that during a dispute, he was chopped on that hand many years ago. We are told that everyone in Green Island, they know about Prof. and his in ways. Listen to this now. These hoodlums, they are going to make things harder for residents because I am sure that these ATMs, they are very convenient to persons living outside of the parish capitals. Hoodlums, they attempted to steal the JN ATM at New Hope in Westmoreland Wednesday night. They stole the one at Little London Friday night. They stole the one at Darlistan last week and we are told that ncb is about to remove the atm that is located at peter's field in the parish of westmoreland in fact all the cash was removed from that atm by agents of ncb yesterday evening we are told that ncb they had received intelligence that that atm would be targeted next so people people you see why you cannot and must not support these hoodlums? They are only making life harder for you and I. Now, as it relates to the incident early yesterday morning, we are told that about minutes after 3 o'clock, security guards from a particular security company, they were on observation patrol in the Little London area when they were just in time to see the hoodlums putting the ATM in a motor vehicle. The security guards, they challenged the hoodlums and a shootout ensued. The hoodlums, they however made good their escape in about three or four different motor vehicles. 
Thankfully, none of the security officers were hurt. But guess what? Guess what? A team of elite police officers from CTAC, that's the Counter Terrorism and Organized Crime Investigations branch of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, they were sent to the parish of Westmoreland because they too, they had received intelligence that these hoodlums, they would be targeting more ATMs in the parish of Westmoreland. In fact, they were on way to Little London when they received information that the hoodlums, they were on their way to Savannah Lamar direction. The rest, as they say, is history. Dave Anthony Mackenzie, also known as Prof, he was cut down by the police. That Glock 40 9mm pistol containing four live rounds was recovered from the scene. So, 52-year-old Prof, he played stupid games and he was justly rewarded. <laughs> Why may I tell you? In this next incident, this one took place last night. Saturday, February 11, 2023, about 8 o'clock. It took place at Churchill in Flankers in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. We are learning that a group of persons, they were at a shop. Some night work was being done on the shop. Whilst they were there, a grey Toyota Axio motor car drove up and stopped. A hoodlum exited the car and walked up to the group with a gun in his hand. The hoodlum, he opened gunfire on the group of persons. The persons who were in the group, they ran off in different directions. The hoodlum, he then jumped back into the grey Toyota Axio and he and his crony, they made good their escape. When the shooting subsided, it was realized that two men in the group were shot. That man on your screen, his name is Christopher Mowat, but he was popularly known as Chris. Chris is 27 years old and he was a shopkeeper. He lived at Churchill. He received gunshot wounds near to his right shoulder and his neck. Another man who was shot and we are told that that man, he was the target for the hoodlum. There he is on your screen. He is popularly known as Buffo Rebel. He is 27 years old and he is living at Churchill also. Buffo Rebel, among other things, he is a recording artist. If you should do a search for him on YouTube, you will find many of his songs. He received gunshot wounds to his abdomen. Chris and Buffa Rebel, they were rushed to a nearby hospital by residents of the area where Chris, he was pronounced D-E-A-D and Buffa Rebel, he was admitted in a serious condition. The police were informed and when they processed this crime scene, six 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. We are told that flankers is no one high alert because reprisal attacks are expected the mayhem the me so let me ask you something <laughs> let me ask you something have you hit on the love button as yet if you have not yet done so remember to do it also if you are over here watching our video and you have not yet subscribed hit on the subscribe button as also hit on the notification bell then click all so that whenever we drop a new video you will be the first to be notified and like I said before, our aim is to drop three videos for today. Stand by for them. In the final story for now, for months now, I've been carrying stories about happenings at Garden District in the White House area in the parish of Westmoreland. There are some young hoodlums there aligned to different gangs. The root causes of this ongoing feud are scamming, bad mindness, and Danmanship. Many persons have been shot and killed or injured as a result of this war. The latest incident took place last night, Saturday, February 11, 2023, about 10 o'clock. It took place at a section of Garden District known as Vietnam. What we are learning is that a group of persons, they were standing in front of a bar in the area when a lone hoodlum walked up with a gun in his hand. The hoodlum, he opened gunfire at the group of men who ran off in various directions. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape. When the shooting subsided, it was discovered that three men in the group were shot. 
that man on your screen and that's the best photograph we could get of him. His name is Damian Thompson. He is popularly known as the Seeker. He is 34 years old and he was living at Nisbury Lane in Garden District. He received gunshot wounds to his head. Another man, popularly known as Prami. He is 32 years old. He received gunshot wounds to his right foot. And another man, he is popularly known as Scribble. It is said that he is in his early 20s. He received gunshot wounds to his right side. From all indication, the Seeker who was shot in his head. He died on the spot. And PNL Patreon family, we are going to be showing you a video of the Seeker on the ground. It is too grimy for YouTube. Stand by for that. Now, the other two men, Scribble and Prami, they were rushed to a nearby hospital where they were treated and admitted. The police were informed and when they processed this crime scene, 11 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Criminals, they're my